The embryological origin of this adenohypophysis is from an outpouching of the roof of the oral cavity, known as the adenohypophyseal pouch, or Rathke's pouch. It is derived from oral ectoderm, meaning it has a different origin from most of the rest of the nervous system. The adenohypophysis comprises three parts. The pars distalis, also known as the anterior or glandular part, is the largest component and is responsible for most of the secretory activity of the adenohypophysis. The pars tuberalis, or infundibular part, is a posterior extension of the anterior lobe that extends into the infundibular stalk that we saw earlier. Lastly is the pars intermedia, a thin epithelial layer and avascular zone which borders the posterior lobe. The adenohypophysis produces and secretes several different endocrine hormones, which it releases into the bloodstream to act on target cells and perform various functions around the body. And this glandular function is why it has the name adenohypophysis. Taking a look at the hormones of the adenohypophysis, first up we have growth hormone, or somatotropin, and its target is tissues like your liver, bones and muscles, which are in turn induced to release growth factors, which as their name suggests, stimulates growth and increases metabolism rate. Next, we have prolactin, which targets the mammary glands and promotes the production of breast milk. The pituitary gland also releases hormones targeted towards the reproductive system. Follicle-stimulating hormone, commonly known as FSH, targets the gonads and regulates the production of sperm cells in males and the maturation of ovarian follicles in females. Luteinizing hormone similarly leads to the release of sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone by the gonads and it triggers the release of an egg from the ovary. Thyroid-stimulating hormone targets the thyroid gland and leads to the release of thyroid hormone. Adenocorticotropic hormone, also known as corticotropin, targets the suprarenal glands and leads to the production of glucocorticoids, which regulate various metabolic, immunologic, and homeostatic processes. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.